Hey, what's going on? This is Wayne with Trey County Locksmith, and today we're checking out the Kryptonite Evolution Series 4. Uh, we've already kind of gone over this lock before when we had a little bit smaller uh, setup, and um, the, the smaller bolt, bolt cutters uh, were not able to cut it, at least not with me operating them. Uh, however, a much larger person might be able to put a little more force on there, and we also have a larger set of bolt cutters now, uh, which we have the gauntlet over here where we have them hooked up and we eliminate factors like body weight and uh, bolt cutter technique and just uh, apply constant steady pressure. Um, so we will be continuing to see if we can go ahead and uh, cut this and uh, if we can uh, uh, we'll try and take it apart. So the, this lock so far uh, was not able to be cut with the bolt cutters. The grinder was about the only thing that would cut it. Uh, the lock would not be pickable either. Uh, and that should have some pretty decent drill resistance. There should be some hardened steel and whatnot in there too. Uh, so let's go ahead and just put this thing right in here. We'll get started. <clears throat> let's see. I'm still going to wear my helmet just in case <clears throat> something goes utterly wrong. <clears throat> just because we've got so much force at work here. Now you see why I become nervous 
when that stuff lets go. Whoo! My goodness. That was one heck of a <clears throat> explosion. I'll be looking forward to looking at that on the high speed, sp speed footage. I have no idea where that went. It's just gone. Lost in the abyss. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of why we uh, built this. Um, so can bolt cutters cut it? Yeah, man, they can. Uh, it, uh, it sure is tough, but uh, they definitely can. Whoo, boy, that thing took off like a, just like a bullet. Don't try this at home. I wonder where that thing went, landed at. Huh, well, we'll find it someday here. So, um, I'm going to try and take this apart. If we can dissect this lock a little bit further, uh, we'll go ahead and do so. And if not, then that'll pretty much be the end of the video. So, for more information, check out the website below. Hey, what's going on? we got our Kryptonite Evolutionary Series 4. Revolution Series 4. Uh, let's try and take this apart. Hmm. <clears throat> Just got a 564 Allen head. Yeah, that off of there. Get this off of here. Doesn't look like it comes out. So we're going to have to cut it out. see goody inside.
we go. So inside we have plastic. And yeah. That lock cylinder right there. I don't know if the lock cylinder is really that hot. Yeah, it is kinda. Ooh. Ouch. Um hmm. This one works. I know it's a disc retainer. Don't see that it comes apart in any way, shape, or form. No detent. <clears throat> This just went right into the housing. Like so. Can find out if the housing is. Yeah. This doesn't really come apart in any way, shape, or form. Okay, well, I'll apply the same strategy. This is a part of something. I don't know what that goes to. I don't know if that goes into there. I guess we didn't get a chance to see it. But this is all plastic here. to see the little discs in there. here maybe maybe not there it goes all right so we're gonna have a hardened piece of steel here I'm gonna be pretty positive that that's hardened um, and you'd not be able to drill through that 
Uh, yep. Aluminum case is what it actually looks like here. Hopefully we can get this on camera. Aluminum case. Uh, it did not throw any sparks, actually. And it's cool to the touch now. Um, that bar must set in here. And uh, when these all line up, it falls into place right there. So when those all line up, that bar falls in, and that's what allows your shear line to happen. Um, and then manipulating these uh, is extremely, extremely difficult. I don't think to date that one has been picked. Uh, so we do have drill resistance. Um, we've got a sidebar, and uh, we've got Um, a very, very, well, practically impossible lock to pick uh, as far as I've seen. I haven't seen anybody. Else. All in all, there you have it. We've completely uh, deconstructed it. Um, pretty good setup. I mean, it's tough. Uh, I couldn't cut it with bolt cutters by hand, uh, but maybe a 350-pound man that was very, very angry could. Um, you know, that's kind of the force that we applied on it today. Uh, it, 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 to be bolt cutter proof, uh, the definition would mean that the, you know, the bolt cutters would fail first. Um, so, you know, we really didn't see that. Uh, but, um, you know, it, it, is anybody just walking up to it and cutting it? Mm -mm. Nope. Uh, but, you know, as more and more things come out, hydraulic bolt cutters, you know, there's a bunch of other stuff. Um, that's coming out to defeat these security features. Um, so, you know, hey, this is what uh, the real world brings. All in all, this has a really, really secure setup. Uh, so it, I definitely would say that would be a pretty good setup for your bike. Uh, thanks for watching and check out the channel. Um, subscribe, you know, uh, somebody actually did send me this one so we didn't buy it. But uh, if you guys have a lock that you want me to test out, send it to me, and I will run it through the gauntlet of Doom. And we'll find out what makes what, and what's what, and how it works, and why, and what security features it does and does not have. Um, because once again, you know, some of the most popular high technological locks on the market uh, can be defeated with a hammer. So, you know, you just got to... You gotta see what's out there and, and think outside the box and uh, run it through those real world tests. For more information, check out the website below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, and like. Wayne's Lock Shop, we strive to be the leading resource in tips, tricks, and educational videos for locksmiths. Videos are added every week on topics ranging from rekeying high security locks to marketing your locksmith business and everything in between. Safe openings, car openings, installation tool reviews, and bypass methods are all plentiful on this secure website built by and for locksmiths. If you are a locksmith and want an inexpensive resource that will prove invaluable to you and your business, then Wayne's Lock Shop is the place for you. Please sign up today at waynesLockshop.com. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact, leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and uh, subscribe share and like. Thanks a lot guys. Appreciate it.